you got a chance to show them what time it is. So what you want me to do? Do. This was the final stop of my solo road trip that I went on over New Year's. I decided to treat myself the last night of the trip and stay in an off-the-grid cabin. It felt so comforting to be in a nice space and I felt like this day and the night really gave me a moment to ground myself and regather my thoughts and my feelings, which had kind of spiraled away from me over the couple of days prior. I hope that you enjoy this vlog. It's filled with so many calm and cozy moments and punctuated by moments of chaos, of course, because life is just more fun with the chaos. I'm sending you love wherever you are and yeah, enjoy. So, this is the bed, clearly. Isn't that such a nice spot? Like, the view, nice linen sheets. <laughs> it feels so surreal. And then the bathroom, guys. Come through, come through. Let's go to the bathroom. It's got a sink, a lovely sink. The shower's actually really nice, I'm surprised. It's just like a pretty basic, like, copper shower. But then it has a lovely view outside but it's raining it just started pouring down with rain like as soon as i got here i feel like sometimes i check into places and then i feel so like overwhelmed i'm like what should i do like what do i do now where do we go from here like i don't know what to do um i think i need to have a shower make a tea get cozy i kind of wish it was cold weather it's like really hot at the moment it's like 30 degrees celsius it's so hot um but i kind of want to get like cozy this is like a very cozy vibe very me so I have my own blanket I'm gonna put my blanket on the bed to make it feel like home yes that's more like it this feels so relaxing <laughs> At the start of 2022, I made it a goal to document the year in a scrapbook. Having all my precious memories trapped in my camera roll, my phone honestly stresses me out and I hate how impermanent and like non-physical it feels. There's just something special about flicking through tangible pages of photos and looking back on memories this way. These are things I'll have forever and show my kids and my grandkids one day. And each photo means something to me and I try and curate each page to reflect a certain moment or a certain mood. It takes time, but it feels so worth it. And also I find it such a calming and therapeutic activity. I'm gonna make a separate video thoroughly explaining how I put together my scrapbook. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Should we go for a walk? Should we go for a wander? Wow! This landscape is so hilly and beautiful. Like, the hills and the valleys everywhere. I can hear this cow moving. Where's he coming from? There's still, like, hectic clouds everywhere. This is so nice. <laughs> this is so nice. Did you hear that? Did you hear the cow mooing? It's not very often that I look out at like a landscape like this. Like this is so hilly and valley and it's so beautiful. Like all the different shades of green and all the different trees everywhere and how there's so much perspective, like seeing things close to you and then seeing things really far away in the distance. It's just so beautiful. Rolling hills and valleys. So nice and the little sheep in the distance. 
I feel like I'm at like a performance and like this is like a stage and everything is just around me. I feel like when Sade wrote Kiss of Life and she said, Look at the sky, it's the color of love. She was on shrooms. She was on fucking shrooms when she wrote that, wasn't she? You know what my favorite chocolate is? A Twix. And the other day, I found these digestive biscuits. These ones. Chocolate cover digestive <clears throat> with caramel inside. It's literally just a fucking Twix and a biscuit. Uh oh. Mmm. They are so good. But they got really melted in my car. And then I put them in the fridge. And now they've all stuck together because of the chocolate. I don't know what to do, so I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. I'm gonna start to cook dinner now. I've got lamb steak and sweet potato and asparagus. This is actually such a cozy space. I just went outside for a walk and it's kind of cold outside now because it's like getting later and it's been raining and then I came back inside and like dinner's cooking, it's warm in here, it's like wood everywhere, I don't know, I just felt so cozy as soon as I came inside. wet here and a bit cold and there's flies everywhere but I had to eat and look at the view like I I almost sat inside and I was like I actually can't like it feels criminal to sit inside when I'm somewhere like this mmm 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 this is good oh my god I haven't been eating like not not properly but just like not like home cooked meals if you know what I mean like I've been eating a lot of pasta which is a home cooked meal, but not like a meal, you know what I mean? It's like a quick thing. Oh my god, they're actually everywhere. Oh my god you guys, oh my god. It is storming so intensely outside and there's literally fucking cows outside. Like, they're all outside. I don't know why they're all here. You can't even see- Ugh, there's cows! Literally fucking cows! I just felt the cabin shake and I literally thought it got like struck by lightning or something. But a cow must have hit it. Oh my god. 
here I am just chilling, listening to Erica Badu and reading my book, and a fucking cow hits my cabin. No. Oh my god, I'm actually shaking. I'm actually shaking. I was so at peace. What the hell? Oh my god, they, I think there's. Oh, they must be looking for shelter. They're literally running. Oh my god, the poor things. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Like, I want to bring them in, but obviously, I can't bring cows into my cabin. This is such a weird experience. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm in a fucking zoo. Can you guys see this lightning? Oh my god. This is intense. So intense. very broken sleep, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have the best sleep of my life tonight. The thunder was so loud, I and mean, then it started hailing at one point, and it was so loud outside, and the thunder sounded like it was going to like break this cabin. And I was just irrationally scared that I was gonna get hit by lightning. <laughs> I feel like because this cabin is so isolated, it's just like perched on this hill amongst all these rolling hills and valleys. I just felt like if a stroke of lightning was to hit this hill, it's going to hit this cabin. And I was like spiraling in my mind and I had to keep telling myself, it's just weather, it's just weather. Like I'm safe, I'm in shelter. I feel like when it's storming and there's bad weather, it's just like a natural human reaction to be like really scared because I feel like it's just like our instinct to be like scared of weather because we have to find shelter. And it's like, I just tried to keep reminding myself if I'm safe, I'm in shelter. It's okay. I'm gonna be okay. I'm not outside, but I felt so bad for the cows because they did not have shelter. Like, they were just standing out here all night. And, and then when it started hailing, they were freaking out. They were just running around everywhere, like hitting the cabin. It was intense, but I made it through the night. I think I should make a coffee soon, but I can't be bothered to get out of bed yet. So I'm gonna stay in bed. Work. They said you gotta work for this coffee. Woo. Doing things like this makes me like realize how convenient humans like things. Like imagine if we had to actually get like say with a coffee yeah. Imagine if we had to go out and like get the beans from coffee plants and dry them and do all of that to have coffee. Or like for honey. Imagine if we had to go and get honey from the hive every day. Or imagine if for chocolate we had to like get cocoa pods and ferment them and do all the that shit, that whole process. Like everything is so convenient for us. Wow. <laughs> Just uh, morning thoughts whilst grinding coffee. I finished my coffee and now I feel quite chaotic um, and I'm worried I'm gonna crash later because I can't trash I can't crash like mentally because I'll be driving oh, sorry I'm a bit out of breath I've just been running around outside but guys I need to show you something that happened last night in the storm like I wasn't being dramatic it was so windy look what happened all of this furniture was on the deck now it's on the ground. It's like broken. Look, at, look, 
the table's literally broken. It's funny because I remember the other day I was talking about how much I love thunderstorms in summer. I got my thunderstorm in summer, all right. I definitely got my thunderstorm, but not really in the best circumstances. I would have liked to be cozy at home in my bed, not in a random cabin in some random place where I don't know where I am with no service, but it's all right. I'm absolutely being dramatic with this jacket. It's not even cold, but I want to be cozy. I want to be cozy. Okay, let's fix this furniture. You could have gone up the stairs, Cameron. You could have gone up the stairs. Oh. Okay. You belong there. I think I actually might leave a note inside saying there was a huge storm and it broke the furniture. <laughs> I need to frolic before I leave. I really need to frolic. These hills are screaming at me, telling me to frolic. That's what black coffee does to me. This trip has actually been such a good time on the whole. Ups and downs for sure, but I'm so proud of myself for planning it and actually just doing it. I've become more comfortable in my own company. I give less fucks about other people's opinions. I have more self-belief and confidence in myself and I feel less afraid to do things like go for hikes and be in immense nature alone. Let me not act like I'm not taking the camera with me. 